Okay, class. Hope we are done with folding and wrapping. This time, let us look at faulting. We needed to define faulting and briefly explain the causes of faulting. So, what is faulting? Faulting refers to the fracturing or cracking of the crustal rocks, which results in two rock displacement. Whenever faulting takes place, rocks are relatively displaced or moved from one location to another. And it is one of the endogenic processes which lead to the fracture of crustal rocks. Uh, a fracture. What is a fracture? What is a fault? It is a joint. It is a joint or a crack. It's a line of weakness in the bedrock after after faulting. Then let us look at the causes of faulting. What do you think are the major causes of faulting? Faulting is majorly caused by tensional forces. These are forces which pull away from each other. Then it can also be caused by compressional forces, especially when these forces which push towards each other are too much and strong. They can lead to the uh, cracking of the crest. The cracking of a crest or an anticline. That's why anticlinal faults are formed. Then another cause might be forces of warping. When they are also beyond and strong, faulting can occur. Aspects. These vibrations of the acid crust can also result into faulting. Then plate tectonism. At the margins of the plates, at the plate boundaries, when plates are diverging, when plates are converging, when plates are sliding or sinking, this can result into a faulting. Uh, lastly, man's activities, man's activities like mining, road construction, or construction of houses can also lead the fracture of rocks. Thank you.